Lady J's, holy crap, it's like a, these guys got a mega order. Wow. The Shadow Troop, the Storm, eh, sh Storm Shadow Troop, Shadow Storm Trooper. Jeez Louise, there's a, there's a tongue twister and a half. There's a Flock Panther, Wrong Flocked. Ram Man Clamp Champs, as far as the eye can see. This will never sell. Sorry guys, it's gotta go really, really low. And a bunch of Panthors. Yeah, but you never see, hey! Well, we're over here at my favorite Toys R Us. Let's head inside. Okay, this is how you know that they're, they're, these things are just too overpriced. They have them on the street now. Look at this, Empire Strikes Back clearance, $53.98. That is not a clearance price, guys. I mean, it's low. It used to be like 100 bucks, but that's just crazy. And then we have, Look at this, Overwatch, dual pack, twenty-seven ninety-eight. Again, a lot cheaper, but still, that is not a clearance. Anyway, let's head on inside, guys. Okay, so this is the first sets of LeBron James that I haven't seen that were stolen for their heads yet. <laughs> Too funny, that's crazy. Oh gosh. Guys, don't steal, don't steal heads off of, off of products. It's not cool, it's not cool. <sighs> Check it out guys, they have everything here in the back behind the counter. A whole bunch of stuff, including Ahsoka Tano's new dual lightsabers. That's amazing, but check out in the, in the, <laughs> it's an aquarium I think. There's the ram cycle guys, holy crap. Under glass. <laughs> Crazy. Alright, so over here by the Star Wars section. They put all the Lego Star Wars up here, which is great. Holy crap. $179 for that Millennium Falcon. Not bad, though. Not bad. Yeah, they got some really cool sets now. Speeder bike with IG-11 and the child. A uh, Blurg. Always cool to see that. They have all these figures here. Jin Erzo, Supreme Leader Snoke. Looks like it's just all them. Heavy Battle Droid, Star Shadow Trooper, Cal General Calrissian. All these retro figures, which I picked up the other day. Actually, it was last year, <laughs> now that I think about it. Scout Troopers. Yep. And... It's gonna take me a while, so I'm gonna have to go through all these. Damn. Alright guys, I'll be right back. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't see anything for Ahsoka Tano or Darth Maul. I uh, ended up asking one of the employees, let's see what she says. Yeah, and then they just have all these archive wave. Nobody that I'm looking for, though, unfortunately. Jar Jar Binks. Always good to see him. All these Black Series figures, which nobody seems to want to buy. Crazy. The 40th uh, Empire Strikes Back anniversary cards. Digabaluke. A couple of blotchies. There's that Tenta 4, which is not outside yet. <laughs> Too funny. But I like that set. That set's actually really cool. Yeah, there's the one that's outside. Kind of dumb. There's the First Order Stormtrooper helmet, which is really cool. And here's some DC figures. This awesome Batman. I am the knight. Yes, you are. You can't escape the Batman. Uh, and they keep trying, though. Flash from Earth, uh, Earth 32. A whole bunch of motor tanks. Yeah, a couple of Omegas with uh, the Build-A-Figure Bane. The 1000 commemorative DC Comics. Detective Comics, Multiverse Batman from McFarlane, and just those gold labels, and the Bat Cycle. Good to see them, but that seems to be about it. All right, guys, let's keep going. Looks like this is where they're keeping all their Joes. Holy crap, that's a lot of flints and lady and Cobra Commanders, Lady J's. Holy crap, it's like a these guys got a mega order. Wow. That's crazy. Nobody from the Target exclusives, though, which is kind of weird. Well, not really. <laughs> but still, good to see that they're still on the pegs. Wow, that's a lot. If anybody's looking for Lady J, Flint, or Cobra Commander, they're here at Thornhill. And over here by the Massive Universe wall, which is now a wall. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I love the fact that there's a wall here. Pretty much everything we've seen so far though. Ram Man, Clamp Champs, as far as the eye can see. Man, really, that lockdown really, really screwed over a lot of retailers. Because nobody could actually get the stock out. Battle Cats, Panthors, 
No, no flock panthers yet. Uh, Fisto, Evelyn, no. Lords of Power Murder Man, but no, absolutely no fakers. Crazy. He's such a popular character. Ground Ripper for the Hetrini Minis. Rotan. There's a Flock Panther. Wrong Flocked. There's another Panther. Awesome, but not the Flock Panther. Which is kind of crazy. More Battle Cats. More Panthers. No Flocked. Alright, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Battle Cats crazy and at least six Prince Adam Sky sleds and uh, four land sharks which is kind of cool they don't last very long so if anybody's looking for a land shark they're here at Thornhill Tours R Us all right guys let's get going yeah over here at the Marvel section doesn't look like there's anything new unfortunately they have this uh Thor Ragnarok set and Ant-Man of the Wasp set. Last time it was on sale, I guess they've uh, brought it back to regular price. Deluxe Thanos, always cool to see him. Mystique is still here, and so is Domino. Crazy. There's the Shang-Chi uh, great, de great Defender. Great Protector, sorry. Magneto and Professor X, yeah. Wolverine and, and Hawkeye. They have Winter Soldier and Mar Marvel's Falcon. That's actually a really good two-pack. It comes with the wings, so you don't have to build them. <laughs> Tony Stark AI. There's Shang-Chi. More of these Tony Stark AIs. Shang-Chi characters. There is Death Dealer. And... Xiaoling. Very cool. And we have the Villains Wave. We have Doctor Doom. Scientist Supreme. Oh, we have Dormammu. Yeah, a lot of them. Cool to see. There's that exclusive Marvel's Katie. Wow. This one's exclusive here to Toys R Us and to Target. Cool. Good to see her here in person. Nice. And we've got Firestar, always a great character. Love her. Oh, banged up Taskmaster. Spymaster, sorry. Man, he's really banged up. And we have a Civil War Game Reverse Warrior, sorry. Civil Warrior. There's She-Hulk, always good to see her. A lot more of those AI Starks. Yep, there's Omega. We do see her there. Superior Force of Spider-Man. Yep, and Janus Vale. Classic Carded X-Men, uh, Grey Beast, and Storm. There's the Ultimate Expanse uh, crossover for the Transformers. Modok, Stealth Iron Man, which is a lot of them, man. Holy crap, that is a ton of them. Whole bunch of Fire Stars. Yeah. And they stocked her up. Weapon X. There's Peter B. Parker. And the new Captain America. Good old Sam. Sam Wilson. Yeah, pretty much that's it. Oh, wait a second. Here is Captain America from the Legend series. Captain America, Aven sorry, Avengers. Yeah, I think this is a time travel suit, right? Yeah, cool. And that's about it. Nobody else really to talk about. Talos, Morph. And that's it. We do have Marvel Selects Wolverine, Marvel Selects Thor. Which is cool, he comes with that twirling hammer. Menolier. There's the Avengers Hulk from Endgame. Captain Marvel back there. Spider-Man. And Iron Man. Good to see him. Yeah, over at the what used to be the Jurassic Park section. Honestly, they've moved everything to this tiny little shelf here. I guess they're waiting for the restock. But they do have Dr. Ian Malcolm. Always good to see him. But he's got, he doesn't have a sexy shirt. That's okay. A whole bunch of Camp Cretaceous stuff. I'm not gonna try and pronounce any of these names. You've gotta be freaking kidding me. There's Ellie and uh, John Hammond. They're too small though. They don't fit in with the, uh, with the six inch figures. So I'm gonna have to wait for the Six chain figures on that side. Yeah, they don't fit here either. Why not? There they go. 
Yep, they do have Dr. John Raymond, John Raymond Arnold, waiting for him to come for the special edition that I ordered off of Mattel Creations. There's Dennis Nedry. I'm not going to pick him up until he actually goes on sale, because honestly, he does not look the part. And that seems to be about it, other than the Mosasaurus, I can pronounce that, and the Carnotaurus Toro. Okay, I can pronounce that too. I hope they reissue that uh, Tyrannosaurus Screaming Rex. I really love that thing. Should have bought it when I had the chance. Seems to be about it, though. All right, guys, let's get going. Well, guys, that was fun. <laughs> Saw a couple of cool things, including that Ahsoka Tano um, uh, dual lightsabers, which is really awesome. Uh, and the uh, ram cycle, which is hidden in the back. <laughs> yeah, behind the counter. So that's actually kind of neat. Uh, didn't see anything else. I uh, was looking for that Ahsoka Tano uh, vintage collection. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately struck out. All right, guys. I'm going to head off to the next location. I'll see you guys there. Okay, so I'm just over here at uh, Vaughn Mills, Toys R Us. I'm going to pop in here and see what they got. Wish me luck. It's been a while since I've been able to go to this Toys R Us here at Vaughn Mills. Let's uh, head on the side. We'll see what they got. There's a nice one. Pretty big. Holy crap. All right, let's head inside. Well, over here by Jurassic World. Look what I found, guys. Oh, yes, Ellie Sadler. Oh, there she is. You know, the head sculpt looks pretty good, actually. Pretty much like the actress, I have to say. She's got that radio which she used to communicate with, Al with Malcolm. What is that? I guess that's also part of the radio pack. Weird. Yeah, she looks good. $32.99? Come on. No, that's not right. There we go. $29.99. Okay, that's better. Yeah, Ellie Sadler. There's a lot of her here. Holy crap. That's awesome. And check it out, guys. It's John Hammond. The one who started it all. Amazing. Yeah, it's got two looks. And the baby dinosaur. Nice. That's awesome. Hard to believe it took this long to get some really good looking figures. Incredible. Wow. Crazy. Alright guys, if anybody's looking for the Amber Collection, they are here. Including Nedry, Nedry, Nedry. My god. Look how many Nedrys there are. Just insane. Sweet. So these two have finally shown up. Excellent. Now all we need is Dr. Grant himself. Awesome. Yeah, we have some clearances for some of the Jurassic World stuff. Not surprising. And the Camp Cretaceous Escaping Tyrannosaurus Rex, Dino Escape. That seems to be about it though. Alright guys, let's get going. Alright, over here by the Ghostbusters section, which is just one <laughs> small aisle. Still, nice to see it. They have a few refreshes of the uh, Plasma series. Peter McMahon. Ray Stance. Another Ray. These awesome neutrino wands. Love these things, guys. If you haven't picked one up, please really consider doing it. They're amazing. $146.99, not a bad price. At least three of them here. And they also have the Ecto-1 from the movie. Very, very cool. This is the new movie, though. Not the, not the old movie. This is actually um, Afterlife. But it's just too small. It really is just too small for the guys. <sighs> All right, let's keep going. Over here by the Star Wars section, yeah. Pretty much everything we've seen before. They did have a refresh for the speeder bike for IG-11. Mando and his speeder bike with uh, Grogu, as you can see right there. TIE Advanced Fighter, Jedi Starfighter. Yeah, pretty much all that awesome stuff. <laughs> this was on the street over at um, Thornhill. I find that really funny. Tent of Far, nice to see it here. This is the better value, I'm telling you right now. Comes with a, uh, an actual Rebel Trooper. And, oh, Poe Dameron's X-Wing. Always good to see that. Too expensive, though, in my, in my opinion. Mission Fleet, Millennium Falcon. A whole bunch of these tchotchke droids. Uh, a couple of Luke Stoddard workers from the Heir to the Empire series. A bunch of plushies. Kyber Crystal. Ed Galaxy's Edge lightsaber kits. There's the Hyper Reels on clearance now for almost $72.98. This will never sell. Sorry guys, it's gotta go really, really low. Yeah, there are those weird smartwatches I saw way back when. Hmm, kinda cool to see them here now. BB-8 and R2-D2, always cool to see them. 
Yeah, there's the Boba Fett deluxe figure. Always cool to see him. A whole bunch of figures that just will not sell. Hey, check it out. Finally, finally found this here, man. Holy crap. I've been looking for this R2-D2 rocket booster version model kit for a while. Look at all the accessories it comes with. It's awesome. So yeah, really cool to see him. 30 bucks. Very nice. There's the Darth Vader. Oh, scale model kit. Oh, sorry, dropped that one. And vintage Star Wars, Luke Dagobah, Shadow Trooper for Force Awakens. Hey, Obi Wan Kenobi, nice from the Clone Wars. Man, that's the first one I've seen in the wild. <laughs> and it's not just one; it's three. Very cool. If anybody's looking for Obi Wan Kenobi Clone Wars, forty bucks. Holy crap! Yeah, it's here at Von Mills. Bespin Luke from the Vintage Collection. Whole ton of him. Not any rush to get him. Lando Calrissian, the Shadow Troop, the Storm, eh, sh Storm Shadow Troop, Shadow Storm Trooper. Jeez Louise, there's a, there's a tongue twister and a half. It's got that gradient effect on him. Kind of weird. Anyway, ton of him as well, and a Scout Trooper. Very cool. Admiral Akbar. Do like him. Looks amazing. All right, and oh, there's Wedge Antilles helmet. Always cool to see that. Two of them here. Batman collections. Batmobiles. Yeah, three and three quarter inch figures. Black suits Superman. Gold label Batman. Cool to see him. CP Tone Batman. Always fun. More gold labels. There's Death Metal Batman. Always cool to see him. King Robin. Part of the Dark Father. Infected Superman. Very cool. And yeah, just uh, the Flash Earth 32. Nice. And we have some land sharks. Oh, there's Tila. Eternia Minis. Orko. Always cool to see him. Zodak. Anti Eternia Ram Man. Merman. Oh, there's Clothel. It's good to see him. Yeah, that's about it. Battle Cat, one, two, three, four Battle Cats. Clamp Trap, Ram Man, Clamp Trap, Ram Man, Clamp and Trap, Ram Man. <laughs> Lords of Power, Merman, Fisto. <clears throat> yeah, it seems to be about. Ooh, that Sky Sled's been seen better days. One, two, three, four Sky Sleds. And a bunch of Panthors. Yeah, but you never see. Hey! <laughs> hey, there he is! Finally! Holy crap, there's a, a whole bunch of them. One, two. Th oh, no, two. Just two. Two Flock Panthors, and they're the American versions. Check it out. New for 21. Wow. This is cool. He is flocked, as you can see. Very, very cool. This is the first one we've seen in the wild. The first two we've seen in the wild. Holy crap, very nice guys. This is awesome. Realistic fur. Collector's edition. Holy crap. That is sweet. And I, t I think I mentioned this before. The the box is kind of um it's got it's got a, a texture to it. It's kind of real neat. It's hard to explain uh, if you if you're not actually touching it. Sweet. So you can see the difference here. That's flocked. And this is just sculpted. So yeah, really cool. Very awesome to finally see these in the wild. These are the these are the regular versions, and these are the flock versions. Wow, crazy! Finally able to see these guys. Oh my God, fifty nine ninety nine for flocked panther? What? That is stupid. <laughs> oh my God, that's ridiculously expensive. Holy crap! Collector's edition flock panther. Wow, that is ridiculous. Okay, that's a little bit too rich for my, for my blood, guys. Holy crap, but still, good, good thing we found a venue. If anybody's looking at them for that price, <laughs> they're here at Toys R Us and Vaughn. Oh, all right, guys, let's get going. So, here's what's left of the G.I. Joes, just Cobra Commander. It's kind of funny. There are those Halo figures that we see before, the newer ones. This one's the Grunt Conscript and USN USNC Marine, and Master Chief with Battle Damage and the Brute Chief Captain. 
Oh, here's another one. Haven't seen him before. Actually, no, I have. <laughs> yeah, I got excited for a second. This is a, his helmet's off. That's the only difference. Yeah, more enemies, guys. We need more enemies. Snake eyes, movie figures, ghost poppers, some neutrino ones, but these are the cheaper ones. There are some really cool bigger figures. Ray Stance, Peter Venkman, Winston, and where's Egon? Nope, no Egon today. Some noisemakers, PK emitter. Always a lot of fun to see this. There it goes. And Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Very cool. That's about another section. Oh, wait a second. Oh, check it out. They have the kids now. Nice. Sweet, there's Trevor. Haven't seen him before. Hey, there's Podcast. That's cool. He's got Big Eye included as well. Sweet. Yeah, they're really, really supporting this line. Oh, finally. Phoebe. We didn't see Phoebe in the uh, Plasma series yet. Good to see her now. And Lucky. Wow, that's awesome. Good to see these guys. So these are the kids for this uh, series. Two sets here at Von Mills. Great to see them. Awesome. Only $13.99. Not bad. Not bad at all. That seems to be about it for this section. Hey, there's Inferno. Good to see him. Two of them here. Awesome. Man, they're loaded over here at Vaughn. They got RC, Masterpiece, uh, Ratchet, $72.99. Masterpiece, Starscream, $165. And Masterpiece, Megatron, $165. They still have Ironworks and... Fast track, whole bunch of Turnier minis, and then just more Cyberverse adventures. Yeah, Slipstream is here again. Interesting. Haven't seen him in a while. But as I can say, you can break him. Just like they're stealing LeBron James's head. It's ridiculous. Whole bunch of uh, Ghostbuster crossovers. Never gonna sell them. Not at that price. Never. Never. And he's a good figure too. That's the worst part about it. Oh well. And they have Ultra Magnus, my favorite. But that's about it. All right, guys, let's get going. And over here by the Wall of Pops, let's just have a quick look, see what might be interesting. Wow, we've got a lot of pop. What are these things? These aren't pops. Oh, they're gigantic pins. Okay, that's different. They're still pops, though. Damn them. Ooh, Appa! Okay, that looks cool, man. Enamel pins for pops. Kind of neat. Oh, look, an iron hammer. Cool. It's kind of neat. <laughs> there's Wrecker. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. That's Wrecker. Oh, there's Tech. That's Echo. Oh, jeez. Do they have everybody? There's Hunter. Where's... Is he? There he is. It's the whole Bad Batch. Okay, guys. We found it quick today. Check it out. It's the entire Bad Batch. Sweet. That's pretty awesome, guys. All right, well, we ended that one off quickly. Pretty cool. If anybody wants the entire Bad Batch, they're here at Von Mills. All right, guys, let's get out of here. Okay, I was leaving and then I saw this. Oh my God. That's Elza. She's gigantic. I'm not even sure if that's a pop. I don't know what that is. I think it's a pop. <laughs> All right, guys. Crazy. Let's get going. Okay, so a couple of guys are looking for uh, some of the vintage figures because they said that they might actually be here, but it's not here on the floor because I, I already checked. So, cross your fingers, guys. Hopefully, they'll be able to find them. Looks like they moved the entire Power Ranger section into one middle aisle. We've got the Red Ranger helmets here, a lot of the Dino Fury stuff. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Bigger figures on this side. And even some of the uh, lightning collection. <laughs> There's a Black Ranger who everyone already has, pretty much, pretty sure. A couple of Red Rangers and that Zeo, Power Ranger Zeo, Megazord. Cool. You know you're in Canada when you see a statue, an effigy, if you will, of a Toronto Maple Police player. Okay, you know you're in Toronto when. <laughs> There's Matthews. Good to see him. 
And of course, he's in front of the display for all the NHLPA tie-in figures. All right, well, unfortunately, didn't find the uh, vintage collection there. Hopefully, we'll have better luck at the next location. Heading down to, uh, whoo, Victoria Park. We'll see you guys there. So I'm just over here at uh, Victoria Park, po Toys R Us. I'm gonna pop in here and see what they got. Wish me luck. All right, they're opening up a little later now, so let's head on inside and see what they got. I asked about it before. They said that it should be here in the front. Clothes Wars? Yes. Because it's a askew. I don't want it because I already have it. Oh. They want to collect it. It's a hit up. 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 It's Yeah, ito nang uh, yeah, gustong ko kasi. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, thank oh, you. Oh, maraming salamat, ha? Salamat, Sige. Sige, thank you. Oh, thank you po. All right, guys. Whew. Man, I thought I wasn't gonna find them, but they ended up being right at the front. They were holding on to them because a lot of people have been asking about them. So, guys, let's have a look at, uh, at what we got. Whew. All right, guys. Uh, here we go. Uh, first one out of the bog. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Ahsoka Tano. Yeah. Check it out, guys. Oh, this is cool. This is from uh, Season 5. So, yeah, she looks amazing. Holy crap. I love the detail they're able to get in these tiny little figures. It's pretty awesome. She comes with her two dual-wheeling dual -wheeling lightsabers. Awesome. Man, I've been waiting for this one to come out. Great. Great artwork here. Looks amazing. Ahsoka Tano. Beautiful. Gonna have to get that sticker off. That's not cool, man. Then the next one. Uh, what we got in here. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> yep, Darth Maul. Saw him the other day, and I didn't think about it at the time. But then I realized, shoot, this is the uh, you know Ahsoka Tano wave. I was like, damn, I should have picked him up at that time. Anyway, got him now. So good to see him. He's got his robotic legs. His entire under like all of his robotic legs. And crazy. He's got, uh, yeah, that's Ray Park, actually. They actually uh, had, to, had to get his likeness. Amazing. And then the employees are trying to be nice, but they stuck this uh, sticker on. Now I had to spend some time actually removing it. And I'll show you what happened when they tried to remove it themselves. Yeah, that was, uh, that was not cool. Oh, gosh. Just crazy. All right. And then uh, we have... <laughs> Oh, we have. Uh. Oh, it's a off-world Jawa. Nice. All right. Arvala 7. Arvala 7. Cool. And look, he's got the... This one's from the Mandalorian. So, yeah, he's got the egg. That's cool, man. Yeah, a couple blasters. Yeah, he looks awesome. And his own little tidy blaster. Very, very cool. All right. I forgot to mention, actually, Darth Maul comes with, uh, with his dual-wielding saber, but it can also be uh, detached in half. That's neat. Very cool. Love the detail on, on the face as well. He looks awesome. All right. Forgot to mention that. And last but not least, and this is the one that causes the most trouble for me. Oh, yeah. It's Arc Trooper Echo. Wow. That's awesome. And there's the problem. You see, when she... She was trying to be nice, but yeah, the the employee basically ripped off the sticker and very, very harshly, and it uh, yeah, it it tore the packaging. So yeah, if I get another one, this will be the one that I open because this one, uh, man, I know, I know she was trying to be nice, but damn. Oh well, there he is, our trooper Echo. He comes with a whole bunch of stuff too: his helmet, removable helmet, an awesome uh, pulse rifle. Uh, looks like a sniper rifle actually. Comes with this two holsters on the side, the, the side skirts, a, uh, a short range blaster, which is what they always use, and these two hand blasters. Very, very sweet. Awesome to finally have Arc Trooper Echo in my collection. Sweet vintage collection for the win, guys. Awesome. All right. Well, aside from a little bit of damage, I think we did pretty good today. Sweet. This trip down to uh, Victoria Park Toys R Us was really worth it. Picked up the Arc Trooper Echo Wave. Wow, that's awesome. Holy crap. Unfortunately, it did suffer a little bit of damage. 
It is what it is, I guess. Damn. She was trying to be really nice, but ended up damaging the figure, unfortunately. Anyways, guys, that'll be it for tonight. If you enjoyed this episode, please do leave me a like. It really helps me out. If you have any comments or suggestions on where I should head to next, please leave that in the comment section below. And consider subscribing, as it helps YouTube to realize I'm doing a great job. And you guys enjoy my work. Well, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Geek proud, everybody. Geek proud.